building and editing, two key elements that makes Fortnite so darn unique. Yeah, I said darn, and I'm proud of it. Without these two core mechanics, Fortnite wouldn't be any different than any other run-of-the-mill first-person shooter games. As the seasons have advanced, building and editing have become more and more essential to be successful. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I can do 90s and turtle. Okay, I'll tell you that knowing the basics is good and all, but not enough to really master the game. What's going on, my guys? This is the one and only, your guy, your friend. That's right, Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram because I am your number one fan. I truly, truly believe in you that nothing can get in your way, that nothing can stop you if you put all of your heart, all of your strength, and all your mind into it, guys. The sky is not the limit. You could do so much more, so much more. Today, we're going to be taking a deeper look at some of the most useful building and editing tricks. This video is supposed to be something that you can easily apply to your game, as long as you actively practice them, whether it be in creative, pubs, or even arena play. I want to keep this video fresh with the newest and most relevant tricks for Season X specifically, so make sure to check back frequently for when we make an update to this video, okay? On that note, you can see that we clearly put a lot of work into these videos. I hope you can tell. From research to editing and so much more, if you want to give us back, you know, your appreciation in any way, I only got one thing to ask from you today. Hit that dang on like button. No, hit that darn like button. That's it. I love the word darn. Yes. It shows us that this content, you also really enjoy it, and it gives us motivation to keep providing you with the best content on YouTube. It actually only takes a second. You know what? I'm going to wait for you. All right, thanks. See, that easy. Oh, and uh, one more thing. If you're looking to take your gameplay to the next level, visit ProGuys.com for 24-7 on-demand coaching from the some of the best of the best. We added all new guide exclusive videos for pro members as well as all the up-to-date news articles from your favorite pros, so don't miss out. Click that link below right now and smash that like button if you're ready to do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to sit back, relax, and grab my favorite snack that is that bunch of crunch, and we're going to start the video. Let's go. Hopping into the first tip, we've got the protected cone side jump. You've probably seen the regular cone side jump, where you place a cone above yourself and then jump to the side of it. Once you get above the level of the cone, you place a floor below yourself, right? If you don't know how to do this basic maneuver, then you really should just start practicing. Hey, that's what I do, just practice. Well, start practicing after watching this video, of course. <laughs> Not right now, you wanna listen to your guy, your friend, and pro guys, right? right? Come on. Because I'm here to tell you that the basic cone side jump is outdated, and it's gonna leave you vulnerable for anyone who is worth his salt. The protected side jump differs from a regular side jump because, well, it's more protected. Shocker, huh? Yeah. You see, when you do your side jump, the only thing that you are going to change using this tip is adding an extra wall between you and your opponent before placing the floor to catch yourself. The idea is that you block any potential angles between you and your opponent while still getting the same results of the regular side jump. So doing this also gives you opportunities to continue fighting for height if you didn't get it from this swift trick. Now, don't get me wrong here. The regular side cone jump is also useful, but it has its place. Say that you are uncontested and need to get higher up on a budget. Sure, this play is material intensive, but for the purpose of an additional cover. If you don't need additional cover, then don't use it. But it will come in handy the next time you need to side jump while contested. You'll thank me later. Actually, you might as well just thank me now. Aw, oh, you're welcome. You guys, I, I just love my Fortnite community. You guys are just so well-mannered. Okay, so moving on to our next useful play is the surprise ramp edit. This age-old trick is more useful now than ever, and if you aren't putting this into your rotation, let me tell you right now, you are missing out on some quick kills. So, to break it down, basically, do you ever ramp rush directly over someone? Yes, I'm sure you have. If you played more than an hour of Fortnite, then I'm sure you may have found yourself in this situation. Great. Now, instead of cranking your 90s to assert your high ground positioning, go ahead and quickly edit the ramp backwards, breaking the ramp and giving you a front view of your opponent. Once you're here, you just got the upper hand. I say over 90% of the time, if executed properly, you're going to get the first shotgun shot and you're going to start your SMG spray before your opponent can even pull his own shotgun out. Now, like I said, this isn't something new, but we are in Season X and this trick is actually more useful now than it was in earlier seasons. The reason why this trick continues to pay dividends is because Fortnite players are getting smarter. And then someone asks, Wait, how could this play work better even though the average Fortnite player is smarter? Wouldn't they just be more prepared for the edit? Thank you. And the answer is absolutely not. Think back to season one when you would get ramped over. It would take you three whole seconds to stop looking at the ramp and actually do something. 
Well, we've come a long way since then, and every season, people are getting quicker. Now, the moment you get ramped over, you're looking for a way out, whether it be a sidestep, backing away, or whatever. You're almost instantly turning your attention to building your way out of the situation. Now, that's where the rub is. A quick surprise ramp edit is going to throw people off a lot more now than ever since they aren't worried about a ramp flip edit as an option for the most part. In my humble opinion, you're going to want to do this ramp edit when you absolutely need to finish a fight quickly. Say you're edge zone and the next safe zone is a mile away. First of all, guys, do not burn mats and utility when you could instead get the jump on your opponent and finish things off with ease. Let's back off from the combat-related tips right now and go over the passive cone strategy that will surely give you the safety and additional information. We are talking about sitting in your cone. Yes, sitting in your cone is something you might have seen pros do, and for good purpose. First, let's talk about how to get in your cone. You're going to want to stand on top of a cone directly inside of your turtles. Okay, so snooch over until you're dead center on the cone below your feet. Once you're there, make sure the floor above your head is edited in the three-point formation. Jump. When you hit the peak of your jump, reset your floor. Now, hold on the edge of your pyramid, and you now have a crisp and fully protected 360-degree view of your surroundings. Yeah, you did it. I am sure that you guys have already seen some of your favorite pro players do this, so it shouldn't be a surprise to you that this trick is on our list. It's also worth noting that if you are low on mats, instead of making an entire one by one, you could just sit in a cone and just wait to make your next move. <laughs> Easy as that. You can still get your entire body protected, but it'll only cost one build instead of like five or six. All in all, super helpful to make this cone play a habit. Our next trick is a lot more relevant in Season X as we look to counter the Zapper Traps. The Zapper Trap isn't a lethal weapon that people carry around all the time, but it's a pain in the... I'm sorry, there's kids listening. Um, when someone decides to spam them at your building for literally no reason, my goodness. Anyways, there's a really simple counter to the Zapper Trap, so as long as you know what wall they're about to place the trap on. All you have to do is just hold the edit on the wall that your opponent is about to throw their trap on. Hold the wall until they throw the trap, then the trap will fizzle away on the ground and you can L dance on that kid who thought he could outplay you. Take that, Timmy44x underscore x, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting really into this. Obviously, this play requires you to know that someone is about to throw a trap at you, right? But if you are in a one-on-one -on -one combat, then it really isn't terribly difficult to predict. Like I said, quite situational as people don't really use zapper traps these days, but when they do, you know how to counter it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving along, let's take a look at our final tip. One that I think you scrimmers really need to hear. Find more connecting points while on height. This tip applies mostly to in-game moving zones, but you can also apply it to large team fights as well. If you don't understand what I mean when I say to connect yourself, it means building on top of other people's turtles and tunnels at multiple different areas to give your structure more support. If you are running a high ground tarp, dropping down a few stories to connect yourself to some builds here and there can really be a lifesaver. Let me lay out a scenario for you real quick. You take height and second moving zone, but the build fight took you over 10 stories up in the sky. Someone else decides to impulse up in an attempt to steal height from you, right? Now the question is, did you connect yourself to multiple structures? If the answer is no, well, uh, that's the sound of you dying to fall damage. Man, wouldn't that be dope if they added that sound? Oh my goodness. Connecting yourself to multiple structures is so crucial as impulses, explosives, and even AR spam can send you tumbling to your inevitable death. Use an extra few mats, my friends. We're not gonna tell anybody. Let's rewind and go over what we discussed in the video. One, add a few extra walls to your cone side jumps to make them more protected. This will not only save you a lot of deaths, but it's a good habit to do. Two, surprise backward ramp edits are going to catch your opponent off guard more than you think. People can only anticipate so much, so when you do things that overwhelm them, it just becomes too much to handle. Three, sit in your cone when the situation calls for it to get more information from your surroundings. We see this done all the time in scrim lobbies. Not only is it a fantastic way to stay covered while scoping out your surroundings, but it also allows you to surprise an unsuspecting enemy. Four, when you see someone about to throw a zapper trap at your wall, hold the wall, which stops it from attaching. Believe me, once this thing gets into your box, it isn't pretty. And five, look to connect yourself to lower builds when on high ground, when it applies to the situation, to end game and mid game fights alike. That's what it comes down to, guys. Learning these strategies and mixing them up in your current rotation of outplays is a surefire way to consistently outplay your adversaries. I'm telling you the truth. 
Take these techniques to heart, apply them, and you need to start dominating because you already know I'm your number one fan. Once again, this is your guy, your friend, Keith Allen. Connect with me right now on Instagram. You guys can do it. Have confidence, believe in yourself, because like I said, we believe in you. That's going to be all for this video today. So if you enjoyed it, I would really, 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 really love if you would just leave a like and subscribe. It shows that you're digging the content and it makes us want to keep providing the most insightful Fortnite content on YouTube. Other than that, hey guys, we'll see you later.